Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to create a toggle switch animation in After Effects. Open After Effects, go to the project panel and create a new composition. Change the comp name to the main render. Preset custom width 1920, height 1080. Set duration time to 10 seconds and click OK. We right click here on the composition to create a new solid layer. Change the solid name to BG. Make comp size and click OK. Now go to the effects and presets, type C wing at it, drag and drop on the solid layer and adjust a few settings. Make sure to select the effect and change the center point to something like here. Now go to the toolbar menu. Select the rectangle tool, change the fill color to sky blue and make sure to set the fill to a solid color and stroke to none. Now draw the shape to something like this. Rename the shape layer. Open the rectangle, rectangle path, unlink the size and set the size amount to 800 and 330. Now make sure to relink it. Change the roundness amount to 500. Right click on the shape layer. Choose layer style. Select inner shadow. And adjust a few settings. Now go to the project panel, search for the BMW image, drag and drop on the timeline and adjust the scale value to something like this. Select the image and bring it down. Press F4 to open the track mat. Change the track mat to alpha mat. Now select the shape layer. Hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Make sure to unhide the shape layer. Again, go to the project panel, select the logo and the wheels, drag and drop on the timeline, and adjust a few settings. Make sure to bring the logo above the layer. Now select both layers, press P, Shift R and Shift T. To open position, rotation and opacity properties, create a keyframe on both layers. Go at one second, again create a keyframe. Now select both layers, change the X position value to something like this. Now select the logo, change the rotation value to negative 85 degrees. Select the wheel layer. Now go at one second, change the rotation value to 85 degrees. At the first frame, change the opacity amount to zero. Again, go at one second, change the opacity amount to zero. Hit the spacebar button to preview. Now select the shape layer, press T to open opacity, create a keyframe, go forward at one second, again create a keyframe and set the opacity amount to zero. Hit the space bar button to preview. Now we can give some motion to the main image. To do that, select the main image, press P to position, create a keyframe, go forward at one second. Again, create a keyframe on position property. Now come to the first frame, change the X position value to something like this. Now select all keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Hit the space bar button to preview. If you are facing like this, you can increase the scale amount of main image. Now select all layers. Press T to open only opacity property.
Now move a little bit forward the keyframes as shown. For smooth and realistic looking animation, select the both layers. Click here to enable motion blur. For headlight effect, select the main image, go to the effect and presets, search for effect called light rays, drag and drop on the main image. Select the point, change and set the point direction on the headlight. Change the intensity amount to 200 and warp softness to 75. Make sure to change the color to something like light blue. Now at 2 seconds create a keyframe on radius. Set the radius amount to 0. Go forward few frames. Change the radius amount to 35. Again go forward few frames. Change the radius amount to 0. Now press U to open keyframes property. Select all keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Now hit the spacebar button to preview the entire project. I hope you all enjoyed watching my After Effects tutorial. And one more thing I have to say to my subscriber and new viewers to this channel. I am getting less support on YouTube. Consider to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Your support makes my day. Thank you.